Okay, so let us discuss our next topic, curvilinear translation. So for this chapter, we have uh, four subtopics. Our first subtopic is flight of projectile, air resistance neglected. So when we say projectile, so it is a body which after being given an initial velocity with an initial angle of release is allowed to travel under the action of gravity alone. And then what you need to know first is the equations. So these are the basic equations. And then of course we have uh, for special cases, we have three other equations. So let us discuss that later. So first of all, let us discuss these uh, five equations. So basically, we have the initial velocity or figure. So with an initial velocity, V sub O, ito yung ating V sub O. And then its path is a second degree or parabolic. So dito sa path na to, pwede tayo mag-solve ng position versus dun sa point of release natin na O. So yung origin ng ibang book ay nasa ibang location. Say for example, dito yung origin. And so ito yung X nila or Y. Then ito yung x, then ito yung sinasabi nila na x sub o. Okay, ito yung sa ibang book, tapos ito ay y sub o. But uh, for this video, uh, we will use the point of release as our reference point or yun na yung mismo ating origin. Then from that origin, we can solve the horizontal distance. Horizontal distance is denoted by x. Then for vertical position, Uh, we do not we denote that as uh, y okay so meaning from the origin yung vertical position niya halimbawa dito sa point a yun yung ating y so kung mapapansin niyo naman meron tayong positive tapos negative so ano bang ibig sabihin ng y na yan so kapag below dun sa point of release or below the origin yung final position natin ang ilalagay natin dun sa y ay negative say for example this is 3 meters Okay, so 3 meters like for example to. So pag ginamit natin ito sa equation as your y, so ang ilalagay natin dito ay negative 3. Okay? So yun yung negative. And then your positive, syempre, positive dito. Yung above dun sa origin. Okay? And then next, ano bang meron tayo? Yung v sub ox. So yung v sub ox is the x component of the initial velocity ito yun, v sub o x then this is your v sub o y okay? then what is uh, v x and v y so v x and v y depends on the position of your or final position of your projectile so say for example this is our position or final position so v x is here and then your v y is here so v y here is negative. So another sign convention aside from y, so meron din tayong sign convention pagdating sa velocity. Kung yan ay pababa, okay, so yung velocity along y ay negative. So same din dito sa ating initial velocity. Okay, so kung yung component natin dito ay pataas, so positive yan. So otherwise, kung yan ay halimbawa pababa, so ang component nito yung vy or voy ay negative. Then yung ating angle of inclination mostly ay with the horizontal. Pero kung halimbawa yan ay with the vertical, halimbawa may angle with the vertical, so pwede natin baguhin yung equation. Okay? So ito nasolve lang naman gamit yung ating trigonometric function. Okay? Yung vox, oh, solve nyo lang in terms of vo, cosine lang ay yung gagamitin. Okay? And then same lang doon sa voy, Kapag sinusol na yung VOY, in terms of VO, so sine, okay? So VO sine, theta. Okay, so ito yung mga basic na equations na kailangan yung malaman. Okay, so yung resultant velocity naman, kung dito ay may initial velocity tayo na V sub O, yung resultant velocity ay nandito. So ito yung ating V. Ayan. So kung halimbawa yung final velocity natin dito, yung kanyang component, yung V sub Y, ay negative. Ibig sabihin, nandito na siya sa pababa. Okay? Kapag zero ang VY, automatic nandito sa pinakatoktok. Then, kapag positive yung VY, so, nandito naman, sa pataas pa lang yan. Then, yung VX, syempre, pakanan lagi. 
Then, ano pa ba yung kailangan nating tandaan? So, minsan naman, ang given uh, slope, o minsan given, may given na slope. So, say dito sa point na to. So, halimbawa, merong slope surface. Okay, so, itong mga to, minsan ang nakalagay ay either yung slope, halimbawa, 1, uh, 2, this is square root of, of 5. So, kung merong given slope, gagamitin natin yan para i-relate yung x tsaka y or para i-solve yung ating x tsaka y. O halimbawa, meron tayong slope na 1 over 2 or 1 half. So, pwede natin gamitin yon yung 1 half na slope. Pwede natin i-relate sa y over yung x natin. So, yung halimbawa dito, yung y natin dyan ay y sub a. So, y sub a over x sub a. So, for short, ang y nyo dyan, pwede nyo isolve in terms of x. So, y equal to 1 half x. Then, same lang pag yung uh, surface ay pababa. No? Halimbawa, dito naman. So, pwede nyo isolve yung relation between yung y at yung x. Okay? So, basta take note lang yung final position kung yan ay nasa baba or nasa taas. Okay? So, next we have yung tinatawag na special cases. Ito naman mga shortcut formula para masolve yung maximum range. Yung range na yun, take note lang, yan ay from the point of release hanggang dun sa maximum range nya na maabot with respect dun sa horizontal. So, same level lang yung final position tsaka to. Okay, so, actually ito, na-derive lang gamit yung equation natin na x. And then yung time, yung total time of flight is from the point of release hanggang dito. So, paano ba na-derive yung R from X? Okay, so basically ito yung ating equation ng X. So, papalitan lang natin yung time neto. Okay, so magiging VO cosine theta multiplied by 2VO sin theta over G. So, this is equal to, simplify natin yung VO. So, magiging VO square. Then, the remaining quantity is 2 sin theta cos theta over G. So, from trigonometry, we can replace or use the identity sin 2 theta to change 2 sin theta cos theta dito sa ating equation. So, therefore, this equation for x will become VO square sin 2 theta. Okay? So, over G. Okay? So, ito yung ating equation for R. So, same na siya dito sa ating R. Okay? So, similarly dun sa Y, so ito yung ating basic equation. Ito naman, ang ipapalit natin, since yung y na to ay yung h dito, yung kalahati. Okay? So, ang time natin na gagamitin dito ay kalahati na ito. Okay? So, kalahati na ito, ibig sabihin, uh, VO sin theta over G. Okay? So, divide lang natin ng 2. Yung equation natin ng time dito, total time of flight. Okay? So, yun na yun, yung equation natin ng time dito sa kalahati. Okay, so, substitute lang natin itong time na to dito. So, from y equal to VO sin theta multiplied by yung time. So, yung kalahati, so VO sin theta over G. Then, minus 1 half G times VO sin theta over G square. Okay, so, simplify muna natin itong nasa first quantity. So, yan ay magiging VO square, then dalawang sign din to o, so magiging sign square din siya over G okay, and then yung second term, so 1 half yung G, so ito magiging G square, so ilagay muna natin yung 1 half G so magiging VO square, sign square theta din to over G square, okay so ngayon yung G dito, matatanggal or makakancel, isa na lang yung matitira dito Then, kung titignan natin ito, okay, so, VO square sin square theta over G, so, pareho lang, 
Okay, so ibig sabihin, pwede natin pagsamahin yung negative one half saka yung one dito na coefficient nito. So that is one minus one half. So matitira ay one half v o square sin square theta over g. So same na siya dito sa h. So let us proceed to examples. So from the book of Ferdinand Singer, problem number 3, chapter 11, Asher leaves a mortar with a muzzle velocity of 500 feet per second directed upward at 60 degrees with the horizontal. Okay, so itong figure natin, assume natin ito yung ating mortar. So ngayon, yung size nito, ineneglect natin kasi walang given na size to. So ibig sabihin, yung point of release, instead na dito, i-assume na lang natin siya na nasa ground, okay? So naka-angle to ng 60 degrees. So yan, 60 degrees. So determine the position of the shell and its resultant velocity 20 seconds after firing. So ang given, yung time, velocity, tsaka yung angle. So yung time dito na isang given ay equal to 20 seconds. So ito yung VO na 500, yung angle of inclination na theta, 60. So ang required, so sabi ay position. So ibig sabihin yun yung x tsaka y. And then yung kanyang resultant velocity. So ibig sabihin yun yung v. And then how high will it rise? Ibig sabihin nun, yun yung maximum height. So doon sa ating solution, tignan natin mabuti kung masasolve na ba natin agad-agad yung mga unknowns. Okay, so halimbawa sa x. So ang equation lang naman for x is v o cosine theta multiplied by time. Okay, so analyze natin yung given. So v o meron tayo, theta meron din, and time meron. So ibig sabihin, direct substitution lang tayo for x. And then for y, so v o sine theta multiplied by time minus 1 half g t square. So same lang, yung v o theta and time, so given lahat. So direct substitution lang din for y. Okay, so and then for v, we need yung vx tsaka yung vy okay? so kailangan natin dalawa yan and so yung vx vo cosine theta then for vy that is simply vo sine theta minus gt so ito yung vo cosine theta so same lang direct substitution then for your h maximum height so that is quantity v o sin theta square over g. So ito same lang din. So given yung v o theta and yung g. And then yung g natin, alam natin yan, yan ay 32.2 feet per second square. So direct substitution lang yung ating first problem. Okay, so solution for x muna tayo. Okay. So, from our equation, so x equal to v o cosine theta multiplied by time. So, v o is 500 multiplied by cosine of 60 degrees multiplied by our time. That is 20 seconds. So, ito fit per second. So, makakansin lang ng second. So, consistent naman yung ating unit. So, this is 500 multiplied by cosine 60 multiplied by our 20 seconds so that is 5000 so 5000 feet the next for y we have again your formula now y equal to so direct substitution again so we have 500 multiplied by sine of 60 degrees multiplied by 20 minus one half multiplied by g so again yung g marami nagkakamali dito so, pag naka-English unit tayo, magamit tayo ng 32.2 feet per second square. Okay? Then, multiplied by time, 20. So, this is equal to 2,220.25 feet. Then, next, let us solve first for uh, Vy and Vx to solve for the resultant velocity. Okay? So, for Vx. So, from Vx equal to v o cosine theta so this is v o so 500 multiplied by cosine of 60 degrees so this is equal to so 250 feet per second 
then for vy so vy is equal to vo sin theta minus gt so substitute na given so we have 500 multiplied by sine of 60 multiplied by 32.2 multiplied by 20 seconds so this is equal to so this is negative uh, 200 so this is approximately 211 so negative 211 feet per second so ang ibig sabihin ng vy na negative so pababa na yung ating object or yung ating shell okay so nandito na siya so tama yung ating yan assume na location so pwede na nating solve ngayon yung ating resultant velocity so from this equation so for v or the resultant velocity so this is equal to so substitute yung ating vx kanina na 250 square plus yung vy so negative 211 square so this is equal to 327.14 then for our h we can use this equation so quantity vo sin theta square over 2g so this is equal to substitute natin yung given so 500 multiplied by sine of 60 degrees square over 2 multiplied by 32.2 okay so this is equal to 2911.5 feet so we are done with our first problem so our second problem again from the book of Ferdinand Singer chapter 11 problem number 5 so projectile is fired with an initial velocity of 193.2 feet per second downward okay, so take note yung downward na given condition so at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal from a point 257.6 feet above the level plane so unang una meron tayong downward na direction okay so downward and then angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal so yun na yung ating theta then yung ating VO okay so and then merong given na level ground or level plane so yung projectile natin ay above dito sa level plane okay so ang location niya ay 257.6 feet so what horizontal distance will it cover before it strikes the level plane okay so yung horizontal distance ang hinahanap Okay, so mula dito sa point of release hanggang dito sa ground or level plane so ano daw yung horizontal distance so let us denote that unknown as x okay, so required is x and what is the formula for x so we have x equal to vo cosine theta multiplied by t okay, so based from the given we have vo and the angle but we don't have time okay so how can we now solve time so take note we cannot use the equation for time for the special conditions or special case kasi iba yung ating figure okay so gagamitin natin yung ibang given para masolve yung time so ano pa ba yung ibang given or ano yung, yung given na pwede natin gamitin para masolve yung time okay so basically kung i-identify natin yung ibang given dito meron tayong distance dito na 257.6 okay so that is actually yung ating y so since below the point of release yan below dito sa ating reference point so gagawin nating negative 257.6 yung ating y okay so from that y from the equation of y is equal to vo sin theta multiplied by t minus one half gt square so we can substitute yung y Okay, and then yung VO at yung angle na given. Then of course yung ating G to solve for T. Okay? So for short, ang start natin ng solution ay dito sa solving for time. Using yung Y na negative 257.6. Okay? So using Y is equal to VO sin theta multiplied by time minus 1 half GT square. So substitute yung Y. So again, take note, yan ay below the point of release or yung ating reference point. So yan ay gagawin nating negative 257.6 equal to VO. So 
So, sign pa rin yung gagamitin kasi ito yung ating V O Y. Okay? So, again, yung V O Y naman dito, take note yan ay pababa. So, gagawin natin negative to. Okay? Negative yung ating quantity dito. So, negative V O sin theta multiplied by time. Yung theta natin ay 30. Okay? So, time minus 1 half, 32.2 multiplied by t square okay so again yung negative dito naging negative yan kasi yung velocity natin dito yung direction niya ay pababa then from that we can solve t using yung quadratic equation so yung ating calculator kung gagamitin natin yung shift solve na feature niya or function niya minsan ang ibibigay niya ay yung isang value lang okay? so much better pa rin kung quadratic equation yung given or yung ating isusolve, i-rewrite natin to into form na makikita natin yung A, B, tsaka C. Then saka natin ulit gamitin yung ating calculator. So dito kung i-rewrite natin to, ilagay lang natin itong right side dun sa left side. So magiging yung 1 half 32.2, yan ay 16.1 no, 16.1 to. So positive 16.1 T square plus 193 then yung 193.2 multiplied by sin 30 pwede na rin natin simplify so 96.6 okay then lastly yung 257.6 equal to 0 okay so kung gusto nyo i-divide lahat ng to by 16.1 okay lang din okay so punta lang tayo sa mode tapos equation so yung 5 then, hanapin yung quadratic. So, yung number 3. So, 3. And then, input lang natin yung A, B, saka C. So, yung A ay 16.1. So, equals. Tapos, 96.6. And equals. And then, negative. 257.6. So, equals. Actually, yung 193.2 multiplied by sin 30. Pwede nyo ring i-type dito. So, solve na natin yung value ng time. So, dalawa. 2 tsaka negative 8. So, ang kukunin nating value, syempre, yung positive. So, so, yun yung 2. Okay? So, wala namang negative na time. And 2 seconds. Okay? So, therefore, we can now solve for uh, x. So, that is equal to VO. Uh, yung VO natin ay 193.2 multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees multiplied by yung time na 2. Okay, so this is equal to so 334.63. So just in case naman yung ating direction dito ay horizontal lang, so just in case lang. So ang theta noon ay 0. So for short, ang equation nyo dito magiging so 1 half gt square na lang, okay? For y. And then yung x, yung vo cosine theta times t. So yung cosine 0 1 naman, so magiging vo na lang. Okay? So, pag halimbawa, horizontal lang yung ating uh, velocity. So, ang theta ay 0. So, we are done with the second problem. That's all for this video. See you next time.